my favorite long-term house guest, Meredith, join us. Can't wait for work. Meredith teaches at Lily's school. Her husband left her with nothing. Well, it isn't public school, is it? It is. When I have real kids, they won't go there. Lily's just my stepdaughter, even though she lives with us full time. And who are you? Poppy took your spot in our doubles game. She has an amazing backhand. Oh, mm. that's how you get forearms like that. On second thought, those kids can learn around my schedule. I am the boss. The <laughs> boss. <laughs> to being the boss. To being the boss. You have to get on the bus now where the driver says she's going to write you up. Uh, <laughs> very funny joke, Lily. She said they'll dock your paycheck. You know what? Those kids mean me. I don't need a bus chaperone, and I've told everyone who will listen. So your mom and your two cats? Wrong. I only have one cat and two moms. Morning, Zandy Patrol! Go easy on the blush, okay? Like a transvestite, I don't cut it. There's nothing wrong with looking like a transvestite. You're just like you and me. This is why you don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend because I'm 12. What's your excuse? <gasps> nice one, Bronwyn! Yeah! Hey, is that an introvertible? Stop the bus. because my next husband won't be a member of the country club. He'll own one. one. Oh, I'd give you a ride, but with my Birkin, there's no room. Sad face. Waistband. Now what? Okay, kids. <laughs> Miss Davis is having a super crappy day, okay? So why don't we just shut our faces and get ready for some learning? Um, where's my lesson plan? Some kid picked up the TV. And you just sat there? Great! This is why China is winning! Hey! Pull that tank out! It's not a tank out, it's a sleeveless shirt. I don't care. I just want my TV back. Although I am seeing a lot of side boob. Hey! This TV was checked out by another teacher. My orders were clear. Wait, time out! My nails. Really? Hey, get it back! Nope, stop it! I'm still taking it. She was driving my old car, and it's like, I don't even care. You know, like, she can have my old life because I am blazing anyone, but I mean, you should have seen her. She's so gross. Fake hair, fake boobs. And Guys! FYI, before I hand out the paychecks, I reserved the cafeteria for my special group today and Wednesday. Uh, so. I need something. Principal Carl. Someone has checked out the big TV, even though I use it for serious educational purposes in my classroom every day. I want it and I need it back. Well, Meredith, we all have to share. That is the fighting Quaker way. Not the fighting Quaker three-way, which was graffiti behind the joke. Got the checks here. Um, I know where the TV is. Jenny checked it out, but isn't using it. She says that it is teaching someone a lesson, but I don't know how because it's just in the corner of the room. Of course it took it. Took it or rescued it. That poor TV was getting so sick of teaching your class. Hmm. Come on, Kim, let's go. Okay. Um, I haven't finished my lunch. Now. All right. I am supposed to take my medication with food, but it's okay. Jenny checked out the TV just so I can't have it. Now my kids aren't going to know what happens to Omar. I hate this place. Oh, me too. Just <laughs> I do kind of love it. I have to find a way out of here. I mean, I only took this job so I could find the rich guy to fall in love with. Nice save. Oh, look, it's a gym teacher. I thought I smelled dirty socks and failed dreams. Ooh, somebody knows my scent. And here's your first Nixon. <laughs> hey, Jim, listen, we gotta talk. My ex got off our friends and family plan and it brought some stuff up. Emotional stuff and you were my rock. So I'll call you later, okay? Okay. God knows I have enough three minutes now. Kotsky. Thank you, sir. there. Uh, you're his rock? Really? He's divorced. I'm divorced. 
don't know. We kind of get each other. Well, I guess that explains why he didn't ask too many questions about your resume. Uh, state tax? Social security? FICA? Is this Obama? Is this why everybody's mad? Are you going to help the safety patrol at all? Does no one see our tip jar? <laughs> it's like, yeah, do. Mm -hmm. who don't wear shorts to work? Uh, well, first I'd like to explore why you hate gym teachers so much. I'm just not into guys who can't do their jobs if they forget their whistle. You know, you have not changed since high school. Now, who are those guys? They're in Carl's Divorced Dudes group. So they're all divorced? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've met them. Mostly doctor-lawyer types who just talk about wanting to meet new wives. It's crazy. You're just saying that. No, no, he, he met him at, um, Stanford. Stanford? It's a smart people's school. Yeah, and they must be successful if they can leave their jobs early without a whistle just to go to a support group. I mean, good point. Yeah. Thanks, Coach Kotsky. No problem. Quit looking at my tush. Oh, sorry. Just distracting my firm. So, I just heard about your divorce support group. I mean, you know me. I love supporting and being supported. Sorry. It's called separated and divorced dudes. I know you and I have a very special bond. And just as you have been there for me, I am always here for you. I know. But, I mean, those shoulders of yours could use a rest. Supporting me and the school and that elegant bald head of yours. It just... Look at that, you start on the start. All right, you can come. Thank you. Well, let's keep this on down, though. I like to keep my private life private. Yes, my wife left me, but the whole world doesn't need to know that. Principal Carl, you're leaning on the PA again. Okay, I will see you after school. Uh, attention, Nixonians. Please disregard that last drama class improvisation. Thank you. Hi. You were right about me showing movies, so I've decided to try something else in my class. Apparently, it's not wearing proper workplace attire. Kim is gonna teach for me. Baptism by fire, it's the Meredith Davis educational philosophy. TM. What? Oh, yeah, there's a student-teacher sign-up sheet in Principal Carl's office. Apparently, you can check out anything. TVs, traffic cones, light bulbs, Kim. Got her for the rest of the year. But I'm always with Jenny. We share a pedometer. Kim, just go. I'll just count my own steps. Join the TV. One, two, three. But I've never taught before. Jenny still has me training with alts. You're ready. You've been following Jenny around for a year. It's time for the student teacher to become the teacher. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, I missed. Cam! <laughs> You're going to take me to get my hair and my nails done. Great. I don't know what we do now. I should have watched the whole movie. Because we are alone, but we are what? Not, Not forgotten. forgotten. Absolutely. Because we all know that being alone is really being in a relationship with ourselves. Everyone, this is Meredith. Meredith? Wait, this, wait, this is me, Meredith? This is your rock? <laughs> And this is Irene. She's not divorced, but she is totally alone. Oh, well, not totally alone. I have two ferrets and uh, one on the way. He's coming from Mexico as soon as he gets his musk sacks removed. Uh, would you care to join the circle? Very much. <laughs> Duck. Duck. Just kidding. <laughs> we can play games later. Oh, yeah. Let's see. So, I saw my lawyer this week. Mm. Luckily, he didn't see me, so those divorce papers remain unsigned. Uh, that's so hard. Yeah. But I'm here to support you oh. in any way I <laughs> can. I 
drinking game. I just need a black Amex. No, uh, that's that's not liquor. That's my wife's scent. Gardenia orange, pancake batter, and prescription dandruff shampoo. He's a perfumer. He's going to do all of our exes. Divorce is a journey, not a destination. It's like a journey. Hey, why the long face? You set me up. Pretty good for a dumb gym teacher, huh? You guys know my wife, Carla, cheated on me. I ran into the guy she cheated on me with the other day at the gym. I popped in to put one of my roommate's wanted flyers up. I've already heard this. I can't imagine her with someone else. It was always Carla and Carl. Now it's Carl and Carl. His name is Carl, too. I, I just lost it. I screamed, I hope you're happy, Carl! From inside my car in a parking lot. He's a big guy. Oh, just... Come here. Gotcha. Oh, thank you, guys. Oh, it really hurts. You're stepping on my foot. Oh, sorry. Hey, Rock. You want to get in on this? Yeah. You're one of us. <laughs> yeah, you're just like us. I'm not like you guys at all. Not at all. Like, not at all, at all. What do you mean? Look at yourselves. You guys are just a bunch of pathetic sad sacks. Oh, no, no, no. It's called a hugwad. We do them at the Fair Antlers Convention. I don't think she understands. Excuse me. Of course I understand. My husband left me, too. But I moved on. Sulking in some hugwad isn't getting you guys any closer to the life you want. It's keeping you from it. You shouldn't define yourself as separated and divorced dudes. You should just be, like... Dudes. Wait, 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 wait. Show us how. Show us how to be dudes. Yeah, guys, everyone should stay in the hot block, please. But we just got these silk screens. sure you would be long gone. Oh, well, I had to help. I'm having them send an accidental text to their ex. It's pretty genius. Ned, they can hear me. Why don't you read yours? Oh, um, hey, lover. The sex last night was great. And then a minute later, he sends a follow-up text? Oops, sorry. That was meant for someone else. Nice. I, 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 I feel healthier already. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't choose being a hero. Being a hero chooses you. You know what? I'm impressed. You are human-ish. Love that. Well, it's not perfect, but, you know, it will do. I could say the same about you. Oh. Thank you. You can't write, I still love you, Carla. It doesn't work. You doesn't work! What is wrong with you? I want my tissues back. No! I did not shed one tear over my ex. You don't need them. Yes, I do need them. You may be my rock, but these dudes are my pillow to cry into. And I don't want rocks in my pillow. I'm not ready to move on. You're ruining everything. I just want you to be as healthy as I am. It's called tough love. I don't want tough love. I want very, very soft love. And if you're so healthy, why did you use me to get in this group so you can meet somebody? What? No. I saw your little flirty routine. Oh, my God. Game save for later. I went to Stanford for two years. You don't even know what you're talking about. You're not my rock anymore. You are fired. Just to clarify, you're fired as my rock. Your job is safe. I'm not allowed to fire another teacher without school board approval. I'm really flattered that you chose me to be your new soft rock. Just not really sure why. You're the first teacher I saw. Okay, cool. Um, are we going to be done soon? Because, you know, the rest of the kids are showing up. Pretty soon. Man, last night was rough. I ate an entire cracker barrel. I didn't even know that was a real thing. Hmm. What do I do now? Laps. Run lots of laps. The answer is always laps. Hey, what's going on? Did you break him? It's okay. I'm gonna fix him. Just say goodbye to sad, pathetic Principal Carl. Oh my God, you're gonna kill Principal Carl. No, look, I'm helping him. I'm just not done yet. It's all part of the plan that I'm still working on. Why don't you get him to the cafeteria after school, okay? Yeah. I need Kim back. Um, why would I give Kim back? Because I have something you want. All right, Lindsay. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of think I want to keep Kim. She's great. I don't have to be here to turn her on in the mornings, and she just learned how to massage both of my feet at the same time. The cams. 
Trust me, the TV is much better. Why do you want Kim back so bad? Sharing a pedometer has become incredibly difficult. Okay, okay, I'll take the TV back. But I need you guys to fill in for me after school. Fill in where? Not at two chaperones? Great. <laughs> Wait a minute. This doesn't look like a nice, quiet place. It's great for real talking. Yeah, sorry, I uh, promised I'd get you here. Carl, we're all here because we want you to move on. So I've contacted Carla, and she's agreed to a conference call. What? what? And so did the guy she cheated on you with. What? I told her you were in a boating accident. She should be calling any minute. But I fired you as my rock. Well, you can't fire me as your rock. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't care about these dudes. Why would you say that? Okay, sorry. But you and I get each other. I don't want you being dumped to be the defining moment in your life. Trust me, this will help. But I don't need to talk to Carla. That's why I have the group. You had no right contacting her. I had all the right. You are living a pathetic existence, hoping that your old life just knocks on your door. Uh, no, I'm not, because first of all, I don't have a door. I have a string of beads. Stop making excuses. Get on that party line with Carla and tell her she ruined your life. That you had everything, and now it's gone. And you are stuck with nothing at a crap job while that slut drives around in your Mercedes convertible. Excuse me? There's no guarantee that life will turn out the way you want it to. Even though you are hot and have a great rap. Hey, divorced dudes. Let's hit up Juanita's. First picture margarita's on me, second through fifth. I will not be around for it. Come on. However great my rap may be, I think this is really about you. No. <laughs> It's not so bad. No, it is. After the text yesterday, my ex called right away. Oh, yeah, my, my too. Then what'd you do? Let, Let it go, go to voicemail. Mail. And then I called her right back. It was still a huge victory. Mm -hmm. I haven't been on a date since my divorce. Oh. But maybe you and I could go on a real first date sometime. Well, uh, I've been on a lot of first dates, but how about we go on a second date? Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, hi. Hi. It's cool. You really did help those dudes. Mm -hmm. So are you like an unofficial member of the group now? I am an official member of the group. <laughs> I'd love to see you in that chair. I'd also love to see you out of that chair. I've already hit rough bottom once today. Here's to moving on. Yeah. Hey, to moving on. To moving on. To moving on. 